Hello beautiful people, I am Dimi and tech is my passion. In today's video I'm gonna show you how you can debloat your Google TV or Android TV device, especially if it is a television, then you must have noticed that there are a lot of applications installed, small thumbnails, that you cannot get rid of. And that's because they are installed as system apps, that means that you cannot select and install in order to remove them. But no worries, I got you covered. I'm gonna show you the app that will do everything for us. We just need to select the apps we need to eliminate, but follow the installation process because it is very, very important. If you do a mistake, it will not work. Let's go and jump. Ah, before moving on, a favor I have to ask, uh, click the like button down below. It really helps a lot. And if you are not already a subscriber, make sure to do so by clicking on the button below. Enable also the notifications in order to get always the latest videos. Let's move on. Sorry for that, but I had to tell it. Let's uh, go inside my Chromecast HD, which is not even the 4K version. It's just for these videos. So what we need to do, for example, if you can see here, I have Google Play Movies and TVs. And of course, if I'm going to open it, I have nothing inside because I don't use it. I don't know if it's also working and I need to get rid of it. I have also other applications installed, which I removed. For example, Apple TV as well. I want them gone. How can we uh, get rid of them? We need an application called ADB TV. That's ADB for TV. It's uh, do not worry about it. That's the name. You need to download it from the Google Play Store. If you are using this amazing launcher that I've showed you, the link is also on the top for those of you that do not. Just simply select uh, Project TV Launcher, by the way, the name of the app. In case uh, you, is, you are like me, simply select the Google Play Store. If not, on the top, always on the top, you go on to Apps, select Apps and select Search for this application, which is called, as I've mentioned, not Q, sorry for that, A D B T V already, it, it found it already, awesome, let's select it and install it. Bear with me guys, we need to make the installation uh, correct. I'm gonna have also a sip of my coffee. Espresso by Nespresso, no, that's uh, an Ely Cafe, not a sponsor, but I love it. In any case, let's open the app. Okay, now, depending on the device you are using, it may be very, very, very slow, this application. And no worries, this is a process that we are going to do just once. Let's select OK. But these are the steps we need to do. Have a little bit of patience. Let's select step one, that is to grant access to usage statistics. Select one, and if you have a latest version of Android TV, you will be brought inside the menu. If not, on the step before clicking on step, there was the path which you should follow. Let's select our application, that's ADB TV, and let's give it access by allowing. Hit the back button, and now we have a second step. Enable developers settings. I have them enabled, but for you guys, I disabled them. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's select step two. It will bring us inside the subcategory of about, system about, and we're going to go and find where it says Android TV OS build. If the first part is different, the important thing is to find something that says build. Usually it's below the kernel version section. Let's select it and uh, click on it seven times. Boom shakalaka. You are now a developer. That's the message that popped up because I've clicked seven times. Once you have done it, once again, back. Step three, enable ADB debugging. Let's select step three. We are inside the subcategory of system uh, developer options and uh, we are going to enable USB debugging, debug mode when USB is connected. The application, let's select also OK, will fool the device that uh, it, there is a USB connected. No worries, it's just some magic by the developer. 
Let's go back once again and now this is the part that it may be a little slow for you. Simply select connect. It will bring up this pop-up wi um, window. Yeah. We need to select the uh, square by teaching inside and then select allow. That gives access to the device we have connected, which is a virtual device, USB device, in any case, to the application to make changes in our system. Select allow. And now, lastly and finally, it will test if everything works. If everything works, it should open the application, but be very patient. It will load all the apps. It will read all the apps. So you have to have patience, especially if you are doing this on a TV where usually the CPU, the device, is very slow. So I'm going to select connect. If everything works, boom, sagalaka, it works. Now it's loading all the applications that are installed inside our system. And they are not just the applications we see on the menus. There are a lot of apps that we cannot see, but are necessary for a proper function of our uh, Android TV or Google TV device. Here are the applications. And uh, let's say also what the app uh, does. Okay, you have some filters and uh, also a console. If you are advanced user, very useful also that and a deploy button that uh, only works with the Pro version, which give you, gives you also some more benefits. In Europe, it costs 6 uh, euros. I suspect in uh, US, 6 US dollars. In any case, let's see how we can deploy our device. If we're going to go and find, but pay attention, do not remove any apps that you do not know, because if they are necessary for the operation of your device, your device will fail. So, only delete apps that you are certain you do not want. For example, I don't want uh, Apple TV. I don't have Apple TV. I want it gone. It was installed as a system app, so I'm going to select it. Let's move also my face. Let's go to the top. Here I am. What a nice menu. <laughs> In any case, Open settings, disable or uninstall. Disable means that it will disable the application. You will not see it, but it will still occupy the space. If I'm going to select uninstall, since it's also an application that I can easily find on the Google Play Store, I'm very confident about it and I'm going to remove it. It finished uh, installing the application. I have some messages. Sorry about that. I forgot to mute my device. In any case, let's move on and let's see if we find, for example, I have also, sorry guys, I have to place it on mute. Mute, mute, mute. Okay. Sorry for that. And uh, for example, I want also to disable this time Netflix. Let's hit disable, disabling, boom, shakalaka, it has finished. That's it. And you just need the, the application. Leave it on your device. If something pops up after an, up, an update, you can always repeat the process. If I'm going to go back onto my launcher, for example, it will shrink. Because, for example, ah, okay, I have also Google Play Movies, which I don't want. Let's open once again the ADB application. I want even less. But uh, Google Play Movies, I don't know if it actually still works. Honestly, play games. Google Play Movies. Uh, oh, I did some uh, testing before and I've uninstalled it. Here it is. Okay. This one, for example, I want it disabled. Let's see. Then I'm going to see if it works perfectly. I can also remove it totally. So it is disabled. Let's go back. Let's see if it will shrink. Yep, it did. And this way you can have practically just a thumb. Now I have not set up correctly the launcher. It needs to be set up so it has more things. In any case, you see how it is. Very, very nice. And this is how you use this app. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to go bananas on the like button. If you didn't like it, dislike this video. But also please mention why so I can improve myself. Make sure to subscribe on this amazing channel. Always bringing top content. Uh, and enable also the notifications so you can get the latest videos. Follow me on all the social media platforms. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Reddit, all over the place. Uh, very social guy. Also threads, which never posted. In any case, 
Dimitrology.com, our website, and uh, we will catch up as always on the upcoming video. Thank you for watching.